Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you the 3D interface for Blender. I'm using Blender 2.93.1. You can see the version down here. Um, and we're going to get into 3D stuff. And so what I like to start, I always like to start uh, with the interface and explaining the interface to you guys. So here we go. Um, way at the very top left, of course, is the Blender menu. And you can do about Blender and it gives you the the version and all that stuff, good information about Blender and uh, the system. And then you've got the main menu, file, edit, render, window, help. And then you've got layout settings. What are layout settings? It's exactly how the whole interface is laid out for you. Uh, this is called layout and it's the default layout for Blender. We're gonna go over all of its components, but I'm just gonna show you what some of these look like. You click on modeling, this layout is done for modeling. You can see that the timeline is gone because you're not going to animate anything. You're just simply going to model. Uh, sculpting, all the sculpting tools are here and you can start sculpting. Uh, UV editing, of course the UV editor is open. Texture paint, shading, of course the, sh uh, the shader. Uh, is open. Animation, uh, the dope sheet and the timeline are here. Uh, rendering, compositing, uh, geometry nodes, scripting. Uh, you've got the, uh, I think this is the Python console and a text editor. Let's go back to layout so that I can show you what else is available to you. Uh, right here, um, right, this is the actual what you're seeing in this window. You can choose whatever you want to choose in this window. Right now we've got a 3D viewport. That's what this window is for. And you'll see this little icon on the top left of every window. This is the outliner. You can see that little icon right there corresponds to the outliner. Properties and the timeline. This is the timeline. Um, next to it is the tool properties. Here we've got the transformation orientation. How are you going to orient this object? Uh, this is the pivot point, snapping options, and then we've got the fall off, uh, proportional fall off settings. Uh, way out here is your scenes and layers. Underneath this is what you call the 3D uh, viewport. Uh, to the right of this is the toolbox with the select, the 3D cursor, the move tool, rotate, scale, and the transform options. Uh, there's, there's a couple more little tools, um, the annotate, measure, and then the primitive objects. Um, you can get them here. Down at the bottom is the timeline with the play buttons. Uh, the play control buttons and then this is the help line you just select and it'll tell you what it is for example this is the box select here it tells you um, this is the 3d cursor and you can just see at the bottom what you have selected uh, to the right of the 3d viewport is the properties window all of these properties are in this window. You can start off by the tool properties. And if you hover the mouse over something, it will give you what that object is. This is the render properties. This is the output properties. This is the view layer uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, the most important ones are the object data properties and the materials material properties um, and on top of this is the outliner and it's exactly what it is it's called an outliner it's an outline of what you have in the scene right now we have a camera a cube and you can see them selected you can select the objects here or you can select the objects right on the viewport so we've got a light a cube and a camera that's all we have 
in here inside the viewport each viewport will have these icons and these icons are the view object types this is the uh, the little gizmo that um, if you this little gizmo is right there and then this is the overlays all the overlays that you have and then this is the how you view the uh, your your window for example wireframe this is wireframe view uh, viewport shading as wireframe and then this is solid mode viewport shading solid mode this is viewport shading material preview and then render preview this is display render preview so this is how you see uh, all of this stuff and, and again this last one is x-ray so when you want to you want to select x-ray when you want to uh, for example click through an object uh, right underneath that is a navigation you can rotate your scene with this you just, just click inside of it in the gray area click and hold and then move to rotate the scene this is the zoom in and out and this is the pan and then this is your camera and then this toggles between an isometric view and a perspective view and you can see the little icon all right and that's everything that's everything in the view I am going to show you one little um, keyboard shortcut and that is the control option Q to give you the quad view quad Q for quad view uh, and so you've got the top view you've got the front view you've got the uh, right side view and then the perspective any of these windows have these uh, navigation tools you, you can click here and in the gray area and start rotating it you can zoom in and out you can zoom in and out of this one and they're all independent views if you want to go back to the perspective control option Q and that gets you back to the perspective view um, you notice that I have screencast keys right here that's just a add-on uh, when you do when you do on-screen tutorials so you can see what I'm clicking on if I click on the right mouse the left mouse right mouse and even the middle mouse but you can see them here now to rotate the scene it's the middle mouse button click and hold and move to rotate uh, shift click the middle mouse button to pan or move your scene the scroll wheel on the mouse zooms in and out you can also do command middle mouse button to zoom in and out so when you hit the command key and then the middle mouse button you can zoom in and out as well as the scroll wheel and so guys that is it it's a quick one today uh, in the next lesson I think I will go through how to customize your layout and then finally how to uh, start adding primitive objects I hope that this video was helpful to you uh, if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one thank you guys